Bankers behaving badly is our topic today. Uh, we've got uh, an unfortunate situation of a fixed income head at Morgan Stanley uh, going to court today. Stands accused of stabbing a taxi driver uh, in an altercation that happened after a Christmas party. And it got us thinking about this, this whole notion of bankers doing bad things. And uh, what, I mean, it's sort of, it's, it's a little, uh, we find it a little odd actually they don't, these stories don't come up more often no, than they I mean, do. There, are, there are obviously a lot of stories about bankers behaving badly in the financial world. I mean, the, the financial crisis, of course, has inured us to these to, to some extent. We're but looking at a more lurid kind of exactly. uh, I mean, the, the, gossipy the, type stories. Yeah, I mean, the ones where it's got no, nothing to do with work are actually hard to find. Now, I went back and I found, I don't know if you remember this one, the, um, the guy used to run uh, Keith Brett and Woods, James McDermott, was uh, arrested on... Um, inside of trading charges after some pillow talk with his uh, porn star girlfriend who passed it on to her boyfriend. That was like 12, 13 years right. ago. But it's, it's difficult to find really uh, obvious examples of non-financial And you know, I mean, given that, you know, we've talked about sort of the stress of trading in particular. Yeah. You're, you know, you're, you're holding, you know, sometimes billion dollar accounts. I think of all these in. studies that come out every two or three years, we're told that traders and psychopaths share similar traits. <laughs> right. And there's obviously rampant uh, gossip and discussion about, yep. uh, you know, illicit drugs on trading floors and, you know, uh, obviously drinking yep. and living in New York and the whole high pressure system. And yet, you know, we, we only, you know, I guess we turned up what uh, the famous one of a guy in first class having a bit uh, of yeah, too that much. Was, that, was, uh, <laughs> that was a pretty, uh, pretty lower class one. Yeah, he storms <laughs> into first class when he's cut off from drinking and decides to, uh, to leave an unwanted deposit on the, on the lunch cart there, which, you know, not, not particularly a nice thing to do. We found one or two other examples where, where um, traders left uh, similarly unwanted uh, toxic assets, say Merrill Lynch, an equities trader there, Near, apparently an equities trader. No maybe one, a little too close to the trading floor. Yeah, right? the phantom crapper at Merrill Lynch, as he became known, left a, left a stool in the, uh, in the staircase. Well, I mean, the, sort of the more serious point about this is that, I mean, the truth is that, you know, banks are in the in the in the business of managing risk. Mm. This is really not a risk that can be managed. I mean, pure not really. statistics well, I mean, tells you that I mean, people in any job. I mean, exactly. there are some journalists that have probably done some weird things. I, I don't know no, who. Absolutely but it's not. Happened. No, not 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 in this operation. Uh, but no, absolutely, you're absolutely right. There's there's no way you can really spot what's going to happen. It may well be. So take uh, uh, William Jennings and Morgan Stanley Bank, who yeah. I mentioned earlier. He may have just had a bad five minutes, a bit drunk, a bit scared because he fell asleep in the cab late at night. Thinks the cab driver is trying to abduct him. The cab driver things why aren't you just paying me my fare right and who knows exactly what went on but right. there, suddenly five minutes you can snap you can do it in the car you can do it anywhere. right just like any other human being you but can the point is and lose it. but the point is that I mean you alluded to in the beginning sort of the financial risks they actually you know so you don't worry about the personnel risks because people are gonna do stupid things every once in a while yep. but it's, it's really in the uh, the financial risks that we really haven't seen quite enough uh, quite enough yeah we uh, don't see a lot of these guys going to court <laughs> on the on the financial shenanigans they've, they've got up to right Anyway, we will uh, leave it there, and we will be back with more breaking views on Monday.